Here's a quick overview of how I have my energy monitors hooked up. This is a PZEM-017. It's made for DC. It's um, RS-485. You hook up um, a shunt on one end. You hook up a shunt in your your DC line, something like this. This is a big one. This is a 300 amp shunt, but I have a 50 amp shunt on there. So this goes in your negative DC line. And then you have a couple wires. These go on the sense terminals. And they go on to the... Uh, there's a little schematic on the back. I don't know if you can see it in the light, but... You put your two uh, wires from the shunt go on these terminals. You hook your voltage up on the other terminals, your DC voltage. Uh, so that'd be on this side. And this side goes to... Um, I have a piece of um, Cat5. I'm using four of the wires that go into inside. And um, it's RS-45, so you have 5 volt B, A, and ground. And if you order it, you get this adapter with it to go to USB, which of course has the same things on this end. So you could use their Windows software um, to go to this, but I'm doing something different. This is an ESP8266. Little micro control board. So I'm using one of these, flashed with Tasmoda software, firmware, and um, this is coming from the PZM. So this is outside, hooked up on the DC system, and the wires from the Cat5 go into one end here. Here's the other end of the Cat5, and um, I have a little control board here. It's a, a, a adapter basically it takes the RS-45 and makes it into RS-45 TTL or just TTL I have two boards anyway um, and that's going to this this is the um, ESP8266 board a, DS, a D1 mini so um, anyway, that's getting data to here. This is programmed. I'll show on the computer that sends the data wireless to my network. And then I have a Raspberry Pi, which is running right here on my desk. Right here. There's the Raspberry Pi. That's the brains. So it's on wireless too to the network. And it's been chugging away here for a while. No problems. The Raspberry Pi is running uh, some programs, which I'll show in a minute. I also have an AC version that's connected the same way. Um, this is a different AC version. The AC version I have is PZM, PZEM016. That's the AC version of this. And the only difference is it um, uses a current clamp like this on the AC wire. So you don't have a shunt, you have this. You just clamp this on the wire. Hooks up pretty much the same way on the, on the uh, AC one. They also have this model, which I haven't hooked up yet. It's basically the same thing, but um, it doesn't have RS-845. It just comes with this. That plugs directly into your computer. So this is a TTL output instead of just instead of 485 RS45. So anyway, um, they both work. They've been working well. I'll show on my computer what the data is I get from it. Here's the here's the wiring diagram. For how I hooked up the PZEM, I found this. Somebody had figured it out. Here's the sh for the DC one. AC one is similar. Um, 
So here's the PCEM. Goes to that converter board I showed, and then to the an ESP8266 or ESP32, whichever version of the board you're using. And um, like I said, uh, I flashed it with uh, flashed the ESP with Tesmoda. So anyway, here's the uh, wiring diagram. And at the top here, it shows the link where I found that wiring diagram up here.